welcome. Welcome back, everybody, to the wonderful Opie and Anthony show. You definitely do that better than I. I don't even know where we're going now. we got so many people on the phone lines and things to discuss. What are we going to do? we got Wheelchair Fred waiting to do the news. <laughs> we have Penthouse outside the studio. They're doing an interview on us today, yeah, I guess. Yeah, calm down, people. It's not Penthouse like girls coming uh, in. Just some, uh, some writer who's staring at us and waving now with his collared shirt a little too tight, buttoned up the, a little too far. He really does look like a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like the guy I expect to write for a penthouse magazine. <laughs> yeah. All right, and uh, we got Lizzie on the on the line, my old friend. No, I met her once. Hey, Lizzie. Yes. Lizzie Grubman, how are you? Good, guys. How are you? I good. Met, good. I met you in my hiatus. Yes, I did. And uh, as soon as we started talking, the paparazzi went nuts, but the pictures never showed up anywhere because there's like two controversial uh, figures talking to each other. <laughs> two two. Press scourges. <laughs> right. It was fun, but it was great meeting you. Yeah, and uh, Lizzie gave me a, a lot of good advice. She yeah. said, just hang in there. It'll all go away, and you'll get back doing what you love. You know, uh, uh, even bad press is good press. Well, all that to stuff. a point, right, Lizzie? Only to a point. And look at you guys now. You're on top of the world again. Well, we're slowly getting there. You definitely are there. Slowly but surely getting still, there. Still climbing. So yeah. how do you guys like it over there? It's cool. We get to do what we want. And no one stops you. Yeah, we talk about whatever we want to talk about, which is pretty cool. You know, we uh, we definitely got in a jam. Weren't we in our, our respective jams at about the same time? Well, no, actually. I was, no. like, coming out of it. Not That's when I was working at your old radio station, remember, for that short period of time? Yeah, she worked at NEW for a little while. Really? Yeah. Yes, I was doing when it was Blink. Oh right! And then it, then it, it was it was that blink was like took t- um, taken off the air like just a short while after when I joined. Yeah. Well, if you if you blunk, you missed really it. I was really into the radio <laughs> thing. It blunked. wasn't really for me. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm not really good at radio. I'm good at PR. I knew it was John Sykes. <laughs> yeah, John Sykes was the worst radio guy ever. They finally got rid of him. And I guess our old station is now classic dance or something. Ugh. You know what? They did best when they had you guys. Oh, Absolutely. Don't worry. We're not going to go after you. You don't have to kiss our butt. No, nah, I'm not worried. <laughs> I like you guys. All right. Very good. Uh, this uh, show, Power Girls, looks kind of cool. Yeah. It premieres tonight on MTV 1030. It goes behind the scenes of my PR company. Um, it, sh- it should be a lot of fun. I think you guys would like the four young girls who work for me. I uh, The one thing, I went to Lizzie Grubman type party, I guess. I forgot what it was. It was, it was Remember what it was called? Pieces of Ass? It was an oh. off-Broadway show? Oh, that's right. That's Is right. That what it was? Yeah, it was. Pieces of Ass or something like that. And uh, and uh, Lizzie just has uh, all these hot women around her constantly. <laughs> really? Oh, she knows PR. Well, isn't that ma- what PR is all about? <laughs> Making people happy? She makes them wear, like, little slutty things. And, <laughs> and the cameras go wild, right? Yeah, I'm, not madam, yeah. Well, I'm not a not, madam here. Well, she's not a madam, but you, you got to admit, they dress very sexy, and they're very uh, very good looking, and they do their jobs very well. Well, they work hard, they play hard, they, you know, we, like, we, you know, we do our thing, but you don't have to be beautiful to be in PR, but you just have to work hard and, you know, know what you're doing, be a people person. I have a question for you. you. You're involved in public relations and stuff. What do you think of the uh, PR campaign for uh, Opie and Anthony at uh, at XM so far? Have you seen like a lot of great signs and things like that? Um, you really guys, you you can use more PR. Who's your personal PR <laughs> yeah, person? How about exactly. some PR? Uh, I don't know. It's just some guy <laughs> don't walking around. I want to knock your uh, your you know your well, PR campaign right now, but um, I think you can, you definitely can use some more PR. Well, the the answer to your question is uh, the Invisible Man. Yes. <laughs> Nobody. Well, I think you guys should hire me. What should we do? Can you give us uh, like a little off the top of your head free advice on what we My should do to market ourselves? My free advice is you definitely need to hire me, and then when you hire me, we can go out there and get you guys some press. We can get some interviews um, going for you guys and put you guys on other media outlets. How and do we get to go to like self promoting your guys, your yourselves on satellite radio? Well, but, we got our big interview with Penthouse today. Okay, that's great, but that's a very niche audience. Oh. Yeah, it really is, <laughs> guys. Guys that jack off. Like, I'm not going to be reading Penthouse, so how am I supposed to know that you guys are in no? Penthouse? You don't read Penthouse? You flip no, I don't. A little bit. She's got it all live action in front of her with these girls <laughs> anyway, right? So I think you guys need to be a little bit more mainstream when promoting so we can get 
tons of people to listen to your show. Liz, Lizzie, morning. how do we get to these uh, cool uh, parties and stuff? You know, you always see in the paper all these celebrities and stuff. How do an Opie and I, uh, how do we get into some of these things? Well, first and foremost, we need your address. So you want to broadcast your, your address across the radio? No. Uh, so when we get off the phone, you guys have to email me your addresses so I yeah. can put you on our mailing list. And we can really? just show up at these parties? Like it was, it's crazy. You guys should have been at my premiere party the other night. We would have loved to have you there for I the know. support. Well, we would have gone in a second, but no one's really looking out for us. Shouldn't there have been somebody at XM that should have hooked up with you <laughs> and maybe uh, given our addresses to you? And um, no. Yes. Because that's what I want to do. I want to go to some of these cool parties. Well, how about this? When we get off the, you know, the radio right now, yeah. we should talk. All right. Because I want to. Because I'd love to help you guys out. Because I think you guys are great, and I think you definitely deserve to be out there more. And you have a great story to tell. I want. I want to be. I want to be like that guy that just shows up at one of your parties. I'm just like coked out of my brain and drunk. <laughs> no, that's and, a bad story. You'll end up in the, you know, and, the gossip pages then, being trashed, and, and then, that's right. not cool. But I'm walking out with, like, a young, like, 17-year-old that <laughs> underage you know drinking's you involved. You'll be walking out in handcuffs. That's what'll happen. <laughs> How about Bruce Willis? You read about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Bruce Willis and Lindsay Lohan kind of getting a little close with each other. He's 50. She's 18. I don't really it. think Lindsay's really going to be with Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> you don't think so? No. Really, Bruce and Lindsay. I think that's you know a little co you know concocted. But isn't that a great way uh, for Bruce to show uh, his wife there, his ex, <laughs> show her? Maybe up? They, you know they can do it like a swap. We can put like to, you know um, Ashton and Lindsay together. I was just saying, when is it going to get to the point where celebrities start showing up with like twelve-year-old girls on their arm when? and just not even not even smile, not even make a joke about it, just actually bring? Well, up. when they show up with their children's friends. <laughs> yeah, things like that. It's that like, would oh, be well, we're Bruce getting Willis, close fifty. To it with with Demi and Ashton. Situation. That would be hilarious. You're not doing anything with the 12 year old girl. You just show up at a party with a 12 year old girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's in a, what is that what you're trying to say? She's in a little dress. She's like uh, licking a big, huge lollipop. Got knee gross. highs on. <laughs> wait, wait, we're not saying. No, you got to hear us out. This is the humor and the cleverness that is Opie and Anthony. There's no perversion going on. The perversion is in your mind thinking something's going no on. No canoodling, Liz right. Lizzie. No canoodling. Only you two can think like this. It would be a start. Oh, the press would be taking pictures. Hey, who's the girl that, you know, Bruce oh, Willis goodness. is with. And we followed him all weekend and nothing sexual happened, but no. what is going on here? We Goes to the playground and pushes her on the swing. <laughs> yeah, I tell you guys, you should be interns at my company. There you, you definitely go. are on the right path of, you know, coming up with PR stunts. Liz I think you guys get press. might be, yep. you know. Lizzie, Lizzie, I've been told I'm a marketing uh, genius, by the way. Apparently. Thank you. Thank you. Can you, like, set Anthony and I up with one of these fake dates so we look cool? Well, maybe I'll fix you up with, two, one, you know, two, two of the Power Girls, you two. Ooh. No, we need, a, we need a name. We need, well, you we know, need, the Power Girls, maybe um, Rachel need, and Millie. You should check some of my girls out. To, you know, to, um, four, there's four Power Girls. What, the Rachel, Kelly, Millie, and Allie. They're adorable. They're from across the country. Um, you'll see them. If you watch the show tonight at 1030 um, on MTV, you'll definitely check, you see what they look like. They're adorable. We're definitely going to take a peek tonight. Definitely. I mean. I think you'll really enjoy the show because it shows media stunts. It shows behind the scenes. We're totally celebrity oriented. It shows how to get into the parties. It shows what, you know, life in the celebrity world is in all four cities, New York, Miami, the Hamptons, and Los Angeles. It yeah. shows what it takes to become famous and what it's like to live the celebrity life. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. You guys should have been my project. Lizzie, yep. I'm, I'm ready to uh, give it another shot. And I, we've, we've had the opportunity to go to some of these parties and... and uh, I think it's kind of the wrong parties. It's well, of... I don't know where you're going, but you're not coming to my party, so it clearly no. is not the right party. I want to go to a Lizzie party. There's well, actually, I, I got to say one thing about the, party. the, the, public, the uh, pr PR here is actually getting better, though, because there's going to be a little ad in the Long Island Weekly uh, next week <laughs> behind the, uh, the, behind the titty bar are ads. advertising, not PR. PR is totally different. R right. Well, that's why we do s crazy stuff. That's advertising. That's why PR we... PR is not paid... You know, aver you know, paid advertising. That's why we end up doing crazy stunts because well, we have to know, get our no name out there. No more crazy stunts to get you guys in trouble, okay? No, no more trouble. No more trouble. Hey, All good look who's talking! Stuff. Look who's talking, Miss Trouble. <laughs> I'm not trouble. Oh. I made a mistake. I got in a car accident. Right. Yes. See. You know. Exactly. And car accidents are terrible things. Yeah. People got hurt, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> Oh, baby. That's so nice. That's so terrific. Rare. People got hurt. That's terrific. No, I know. That's very uh, yeah. tragic. Actually. No, it was an accident. And so, so was that couple having sex in a church. He fell into her vagina. So that's the, well, okay. You're gross. No. Yeah, yeah that was Anthony, Lizzie. That's I, disgusting, I, I, guys. I think you're adorable. 
Aw, you're sweet. Well, okay. anyway, I want you guys to watch my show tonight, okay? And I want all your, your listeners to watch my show tonight. It's called Power Girls. It's on 1030 on MTV. All right, can you, uh, we're going to throw you on hold because I want to go to one of your parties. Okay, sweetie. Thanks, guys, for having me. Thank, Thank you, Lizzie. Lizzie. Bye. Right. There she goes. Lizzie Grubman. Lizzie, who's picking up Lizzie? Right over there. <coughs> Make sure you give her yellow tree to AOL. Well. I'd like to go to a party. Let's all go to parties. Yes. Make sure that's taken care of. Ben, take care of that. That's right. Be like Rico Rizzo just stealing deli meat. <laughs> Hey, let's get Ben Belly in here. What, yes. would, what would we do? How'd you we heard would your... all sit together, like, not mingling or doing anything. We'd be three bumps on a log. We've... How'd you hurt your foot? I slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> we, uh, we don't do good at the parties. No, we're terrible at the parties. I and everyone's down. all, it turns out, like, we do go every once in a while, and people are excited that we're there, and then they realize that we're just zilches we're in nothing. person. <laughs> we just sit there like idiots. And they stare at us expecting us to do something and they realize I don't know what to do with those parties. <laughs> so they realize wow I guess they're really just going to sit there. <laughs> I point at people <laughs> right. like oh it's Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> right. Look it's him. It's that guy. I don't know what to do with the parties. Like some people look so natural they stand like in, in cr groups of three or maybe four at the most with their drink in their hand talking over, like, techno music that's so loud, I can't understand how they're hearing anything. Yeah. Like, I want to stand there and be part of the in crowd and mingle with them and drink my drink and talk, but I'm always going, what? Huh? I want to... Look like an idiot. I want to get one of those uh, sidekicks, and I want to be able to... Uh, like I am uh, Carson Daly. Oh, you just want to talk, like, on your sidekick in the talk party? About, talk about the big party that we we're all at with... Uh, Paris Hilton. Carson, where are you? I'm here already. On my way, Oh, <laughs> Things like that, right? <laughs> right? Cool stuff like that to have right. on there. Hey, Paris, I'm at the party. Oh, be there in a sec. You know, things like that. And then she emails her latest, like, you know, snatch shot to you? Yeah. Ooh, God. kisses. <laughs> right. Big snatch shot. <laughs> Great. I can't wait. Hook me up. I want to be part We're of the there. We want to be part of the in crowd. I got to get one of those things, though, first. Yeah. I don't even have one. I'd be on an old Nokia brick phone. What? Boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Sorry, I can't receive pictures. It's an LCD readout of the phone number. Everyone else has sidekicks and black oh, and, cool stuff. and trios, and, and we go to the party with a laptop and plug I got, it I in somewhere. Like huge, this huge mess of a phone. I have a phone that won't come out of my car. It's part of the console, like the old Canon phone. Oh, what a mess. I can't. I can't be part of that scene. I think we kind of tried, and it just was like, "What is this?" Fell miserably. There's I'm wearing the wrong stuff. I'm standing in the wrong place. The last one, drinking we, the wrong drink. The last one, we went to that sync party because we were in Sync awful. magazine, and they were so excited we were there. And within ten minutes of us being there, they just left us alone because they realized that we were just a couple of bores. They go, "Oh, come up to the VIP section." <laughs> yeah. They go, "Come up to the VIP section." And we're like, "Cool, we're going to the VIP section." So they walk us through the party where people are having a good time, partying, conversing, drinking, and bring us up to this area that nobody's hanging out in. It's the VIP area. I felt like that scene in Animal House where they bring all the foreigners and the geeks and nerds into the room because mm -hmm. they don't want them pledging. Hey, you right. guys playing cards? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what I felt like. In the VIP room by yourself. Yeah, all by ourselves in the VIP. Oh, no, this is good. This is the good place for you guys. Every time I've ever been taken in the VIP, there's always a problem. Like, there's always a black bouncer that's, like, not wanting to let me in. They're like, no, 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 but so-and-so knows yeah, he's yeah, coming. It's never make an easy. Yeah, they got to excuse to get you in. Right, and you feel like, <laughs> Come crap. here, come here. And they always wave some <laughs> jerk off yeah. over and goes, yeah, yeah, he's okay. He's no, okay. he's okay. You couldn't just walk in and feel good about yourself. Right. Now you got to stand there feeling like at any moment you're getting thrown out because you're not worthy to be in there. Well, That's uh, how I feel at Ben is good at these things, though. Ben, no, Ben is <laughs> the master. Ben is the king. Oh, Dude, I'm hanging out at a right. table with Bono. Yeah, We're yeah. drinking Guinness. I swear, I, you know, you know, he puts the champagne in his Guinness sometimes. Well, he's got to be good at it. You guys don't have to be good at that stuff. No, uh, but I kind of, you know, we want to be. I think secretly we want to be part of the end. Just one part time. of the end crowd. Just once, I want to walk into one of those parties and actually. Hey, fit Bruce! In. I see you have two 18-year-olds tonight. Uh, why don't I help you out? Hey, yes, yeah, so hang out with Bruce Willis We're and Lindsay such, Lohan. That's as easy as that. Yeah. A couple of Lindsay's friends here. Meet right. the boys. Sure. Sure. That ain't happening. Please. 
Now, maybe when Jimmy gets uh, on HBO, gets a little more exposure like that, maybe Gandolfini. Maybe we'll be hanging with Gandolfini somewhere. Maybe. Uh, will you invite us along, Jimmy? Depends if James and I have some things to talk about, like maybe a crossover between uh, Louis Show and The Sopranos, or maybe like one of those things they used yeah, to do, well, like on Happy Days, where, uh, <laughs> where like Ron Howard would teabag Shirley Feeney in an episode. <laughs> Mork shows up in yeah, a contest with Fonzie to control the jukebox. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, was that awful? <laughs> nanu nanu, and then fucking awful Henry Winkler punching it. Punch it with his A. We got it. We gotta introduce Ben Bailey. Ben Bailey. Was there a power with his thumbs? Like he had some kind of magic. He could thumb up. No, he power. had some kind He froze Fonzie, he, he, he but Fonzie had such coolness in him he, that he was able he, to get his thumb up. He, he yeah. able to oh, move yeah, his right. thumb up. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, was that horrible? <laughs> yeah. And then the uh, studio audience goes crazy. It was like a space age roofie. Like he just freezes them and then starts to fuck them, and then Henry Winkler comes out of it. <laughs> that faggoty awful hey. show. Oh, I completely forgot that we could say shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he <laughs> satellite. Something about walking into a radio studio. Putting on the headphones, it's like, all right, now I have to censor myself. Yeah, but say not, shucks, but not anymore. Fuck it. That's, this is fantastic. You're over at the new <laughs> girlfriend's the fuck father's house, you know? More you can't say I F your little girl in the A. You can now say. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I didn't know what it. you meant before. <laughs> yeah. You have to say, hey, we went out on a really nice date the other yeah. night. Yeah. The father would go great. to his wife. What does it mean? Our daughter's a dumb C. What was he trying to say? <laughs> now you can blurt it right out. <laughs> I mean, really? You could, you could even say cunt? If you want to, yeah, sure. Sure. Well, we like to usually warn the people, you know. Oh, like warning. The warning. C word alert. C word alert. Warning. Then, warning. This is the, the guy just dropped the A bomb over a skirmish. You know, we usually <laughs> like to break that up. The Enola Gay don't come rolling out unless we need it. That's My the most. Apologies. That's the most. I got a little overexcited. That's, that's right. the most useful, uh, useless clip we have, by the way. Yeah, we know. Because we play it after the person it's, says yeah. it. Yeah. Because you never know when. You say it after someone says cunt, not before. We interrupt this program. A midget sighting, Opie. Why would there be a midget sighting? Well, because uh, Opie Either pushed six instead of five. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> I'm a stupid button pusher, and I can't even do that right. Oh, good. That's good. I never even liked the, the, that word until I went to England. They use it over there all the time. It's like Smurf over there. They, they put it in, it's, <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Everybody says yeah, it It's your pal. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's somebody anybody. hanging out. It's anybody. And they'll throw it in at the end of a sentence. Yeah? So you think that you've made it through the sentence without hearing it? Like they'll say, uh, you know, yeah, he went 20 minutes over the light, the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's gone, you know? It's like it's not going to happen. And, then and the women don't seem to have a big problem with it over there, huh? I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. Or the it doesn't matter. The guys use it a lot. Yeah. That's like what it doesn't I mean the same thing. It means Desensitized. asshole right. douchebag. Yeah. Over here, it's the the atomic bomb. It's toilet. really yeah. funny to to see in in these English movies, though, man. Like oh yeah, Snatch and uh, Train Spot. They love it. That. They use it all the time. But here, it is the atomic bomb in an argument. If you want to change the course of an argument with your wife or girlfriend or something like that, just bust that word out because the original argument completely vanishes. It completely goes away, and you are in a brand new war that just will never end. It is hell. You use the c word. Get out of the house. Wife or girlfriend, try on your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I need three dollars, cunt. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> warning, warning. <laughs> Do the plug, Ben. Do the plug. Plug. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got to capture your audience right yeah. now. Yeah, everybody's definitely focused right now. No one uh, changed the channel. Check oh. out my website, everybody, therealbenbailey.com. And right. buy my new CD, Ben Bailey Boulevard. Okay, the what real are we... Ben Bailey, B-A-I-L-Y or L-E-Y? L-E-Y. L... E-Y. The E-Y. The real Ben. And I have to toss out the Baltimore Improv this tonight through Sunday, uh, 410-727-8500. I will be doing my dog shit act. So if you're down there and you want to come see it, you know, feel free. It's mediocre, and you're going to feel ripped off when you leave. All right, with that, <laughs> with that we'll uh, take a break, and we'll wrap up the mess next. The very worst of the Opie and Anthony F.U. line. I want to send out a big F.U. to Cuba, Missouri, and their police department. I'm broken down on the side of the road, and I've had three freaking cops drive right by me, look at me, and not stop if I need any help. So fuck you, Cuba, Missouri, police department. I just want to say fuck you to that bitch next door that I fuck. Because the next day I wake up, the boyfriend's at my door with a fucking baseball bat. Yeah, I would just like to say, uh... Fuck you to everybody who goes through the line and target my man dong. <laughs> we had a phone for life. We just want to send a big fuck you out to Clear Channel for canceling the best rock station out there. 
And that's why everybody in Houston are switching over to fucking XM, man. Yeah, I'd like to say, fuck you to Haynes underwear, because they're riding up my ass right now and it's giving me some fucking problems. Yeah, I said a big fuck you to Anthony and Opie and Anthony. Just had Steven on telling a story about Ozzy. He starts telling a story, then he cut him off every time he tells him to start answering our stupid questions. And then he can't finish the story because the show ends. Let him talk. Call the Opie and Anthony FU line at 1-866-FU-LINE-1. 1-866-FU-LINE-1. Well, fuck you very much.